What's up guys? It's Taco with Amped Up Outdoors. Today I'm out in the mobile headquarters with Katie and we're going to mount a TV in our bedroom in our brand new camper that we just picked up down at Leo's Vacation Center. If you're looking for a camper, go check the folks at Leo's out. So, the first thing I like to do, because camper walls are not like your home walls. You know, the studs, it's really just a thin panel. The studs aren't always, you know, 16 inches on center. But camper manufacturers put what's called a backer plate in. Normally it's a piece of plywood. And if you press on the wall, you can see that flexes real easy. Whereas I get over here, and it's nice and firm. Once I find that backer plate, my first step is to take the screws that come with your TV mount and throw them away due to the thickness of the walls. If I drive that screw in, chances are I'm going to go right through my wall, right into my bathroom shower. So I'm going to chuck those and I'm going to use these smaller inch long screws that I know I'm not going to go all the way through my wall. Assemble your TV per the, per the mount's instructions. Like I said, there's a lot of different mounts out there. I, I picked up this Armstrong mount up at Harbor Freight Tools. Um, you know, seemed like it gave me a lot of bang for my buck. I found the backer plate on the wall and I've marked the holes. My next step is going to be take one of the smallest drill bits you have in your little drill bit set. You're going to come over where your holes mark and you're going to make sure you're hitting something solid. Like that one's not hitting that backer plate. So I'm going to hold this mount back up. I'm going to just move it over a little bit. And I'm going to redrill and see if I hit solid. Now the reason you want to use a tiny drill bit is because you don't want to drill a great big quarter inch hole in your wall. I can fix a real small hole. And I hit it there, but I didn't hit it up here. So now I've got my holes drilled. Like I said, I had to drill a few to confirm that I was on that backer plate. I get that set, just take a tape measure, kind of check for, make sure you're somewhat straight.
get my second screw here. get everything tightened to the wall. My next step is going to be to hang the TV on the mount. The TV goes on just like so, has two small screws that connect it on the back side. And my TV is connected. It's on a swivel mount. Bring my plug right up. Plug it in. I'll have to make a small coax cable up to go to my antenna. And then last step is right here. I have a travel strap. Because this TV is in my camper and it's going to tow behind me while I'm in motion I want to have it secured to the wall the best as possible so it's not swinging around and banging you know because this is a full motion mount but that basically concludes how to install a TV in an RV Again, a couple of key points. Before you drill a big hole, drill a small hole to confirm that you're on that backer plate. Definitely throw the screws that come with the TV mount away. Get yourself some short, three quarters of an inch to an inch, little lag screws from your local hardware store. And the last thing is gonna be Make sure you get yourself a TV strap to secure it when you tow. And there we go. TV's working. We're going to be ready for camping so we can have some little TV while we're in our bedroom. If you guys have any questions or any comments, leave it below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video.